Um, okay, uh, cancer update. We'll be on day 15. Um, last video we did, it was, um, I've just been for a CT scan, I was waiting on the results for that. Uh, results have come back off that, my lymph nodes and my lungs are clear, so it means the cancer hasn't spread any further, hopefully now, than just my bladder. Um, I've got a cyst, supposedly, on my kidney, or one of my kidneys, which I've got to have an ultrasound for that to find out if, you know, whatever it is and how big it is and whatever, but I don't know more about that until they let me know. Unfortunately, there's, I'm one of 90 people, I find out, that's waiting for treatment. I've missed the cutoff this week for whatever it is they have to do, so it means I'm not going to hear anything out till 14th at the least now, which is, you know, it's a few, it's a week or so away, which is bit of a concern for the length of time but again I'm not the only person that's being treated uh, still working still back in work um, lower back pain at the moment I don't know if that's anything to do with the cancer or if it's just age related or if it's you know whatever I don't know nurse was a little bit what concerned but not overly concerned so no doubt they'll probably look into that when I go and see them. Um, the amount of people in work who've come up, and now especially now people I don't know who've come up and said, you know, what uh, one how brave it is doing the video. I don't see it as brave, but if they do, that's great. Um, but you know, through the video that their husbands or their partners or even they have gone to the doctors and get checked out, which that is the goal of the video is to get people to get looked at over something they're unsure of. Again, you know your body better than any person, any other doctor. You know if there's something different. If there is something different, go and get it checked out. Don't leave it. Don't ignore it. Don't pretend that, oh well, it won't happen again, because it, it may well never happen again, but it might. So at least, you know, get yourself checked. Get yourself checked out and just give yourself peace of mind, your family peace of mind, and don't hopefully have to go through Unfortunately, the rubbish we're going to have to go through. Um, giving up smoking's going okay. I'm about 50% down on what I was smoking. So I'm now on these now. So I'm between these and cigarettes. I have to give up smoking. There's no... It, for me, it, you know, the money and the treatment and everything they're going to have to do and the time and everything they're going to have to spend to hopefully get me well. I can't look at myself in the mirror after all that's done and still smoke. For me, that is just, they might as well have not bothered. They might as well have just said, well, there's not going to stop smoking. I know smoking is the whole cause of my cancer, but it ups the chances by 50%, which is a massive, you know, it's a massive amount to up. And also... You know, if it's all clear at the end of all this treatment and everything, I've got to look at not put myself in a position where if I'm smoking still, I'm at higher risk again and again. Obviously, I need to stop smoking. I need to change that part of my lifestyle because I need to not really be at any more risk or any higher risk, I should say, of getting cancer again. I probably, there's a possibility I'll be at risk, but I'd rather lower the, lower the amount of risk than just carry on doing what I'm doing. Again, with that, I'm not telling people to give up smoking. I'm not telling people to whatever. That's that's their choice. You know, it's not down to me or anybody else to choose what you want to do with that. You do it, choose yourself. Myself, I need to stop smoking. That'll be the hardest thing because I'm 52. I've been smoking for 42 years. Really, I started smoking when I was 10. I've got probably an exceptionally high dependency on nicotine in my system. So that's going to have to be weaned down and weaned down and weaned down. I mean, hopefully I can go from 50% to 25% fags and 75% vape and then get my way down to where it's just vape and then maybe get off the vapes as well, lower the, the nicotine levels of the vapes and come off those as well. But again, that's going to take time. That's not a, a five-minute fix. That's a long journey with the, with the smoking because of the length of time I've done it. Um... 
what other things have happened this week? Uh, oh, Exangelis Tattoo Studio have um, nominated two families that they're going to help with their charity weekends. Um, I'm one, and there's another family as well of a young boy who's personally he's, he's in far more need than I am. Um, so you know, if anybody goes and has a look online, goes to have a look on their page, see what you know what what they're offering and if there's anything that interests them because then money proceeds of that will go towards families I myself don't want the proceeds I, it's not about that for me it's about awareness for me so obviously the many money that's made that's on my behalf will go to the first family because for me they need it far more than I do that you know he's a young boy he's at the beginning of his life I'm not at the end of mine by a long shot, but he's at the beginning of his life and they need as much memories and time with that young boy as they can get. Because with everybody, future's uncertain, nobody knows what the future holds, but he's a young boy at the beginning of his junior life and that family needs the help way, way, way more than I do. I just want a message to come across for people to get themselves looked at if, you feel, if they feel they're unwell or they feel something's different. At the moment, in myself, I feel well. I don't feel ill still, I don't feel unwell. My back is sore and I do get the occasional pain on the left hand side, lower down, but that's probably me telling myself it's something to do with the cancer and it probably isn't, but it's just, I think that's where your brain works. Every little twinge and every little pain you suddenly associate it with. Oh, is that more cancer? Is that spread? Is it this? I think that's just a natural way of people looking at things. Um, my next update now, probably no doubt, will be once I find out what this cyst is, how big it is, what they're going to do. Are they going to do anything? They might not even need any treatment. You know, people can live with cysts on, on the kidneys for, for life and it'll never affect them. I don't know if it makes slightly a difference for me because of me having cancer, but again, that I don't know until they tell me. The amount of people, you know, work colleagues, family, friends that have spoke to me over these last couple of weeks has been unbelievable, it really has, it's been amazing you know, there's a few people that have struggled because they don't know what to say, but again what can you say really, there's nothing you can say that'll change the situation, but you know, just talk normal, you know, I'm still the same me, I haven't changed me I haven't changed my attitude my, my light outlook on life or anything I'm still the same old me just I know it's on, it's difficult for some people to just understand or even just broach the subject which again is another reason for these videos if I can get the information out there it makes it easier for other people because they know the information they're not just on the back foot not sure what to say I'm exceptionally appreciative of all you know the well wishes the the likes the shares I mean I think it's about 3,200 shares on the video on the first video now Again, I'd like it to be more. I'd love it to go further and further, but 3.2 thousand isn't anything to be sniffed at. You know, for somebody, let's be fair, again, somebody, like I said, I'm not famous, I'm not a celebrity, I'm not anything special. Just a regular bloke. Works in a supermarket. You know, I'm not... I haven't got millions of followers. I don't, you know, I don't do tweets every couple of minutes to tell people everything. I, you know, I'm a regular guy. So 3.2 thousand is, you know, that's a fabulous amount of people, especially in the space of a fortnight. You know, if it can get further, even better. But if not, the message is getting out there. And it's, it's getting out there slowly, but it's getting there as well. Um, so at the moment, until I know any more, there's nothing else I can add, really. Um, just to say, if you feel there's something wrong with you, then please get yourself checked out. And I'll keep everybody up to date as soon as I know what I know. And thank you for watching and please keep sharing if you can.